Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Super Adventure Based on the episode written by Mark Seidenberg Adapted by Bill Skolan And illustrated by Lauder Inc. Hiya everybody, says Mickey. Welcome to the clubhouse. Today, Mickey and his pals are pretending to be superheroes. Superheroes work together to save the day from supervillains, Mickey explains. Donald will pretend to be a bad guy. You'll never defeat me, he shouts. The superheroes chase Donald every which way. Wait, we're supposed to work as a super team, Mickey says. But the heroes don't listen and end up in a jumble. Just then a shadow falls over the gang. Gosh, says Goofy, it's a giant hot dog balloon. That's a Zeppelin, says Mickey. But what's it doing here? Suddenly the Zeppelin zaps the glove balloon with a shrink ray. Power Pants Pete flies down. Stay back, he warns. I'm about to shrink everything in the clubhouse world. Power Pants Pete picks up the tiny glove balloon and flies off. We have to stop Pete from shrinking everything, says Mickey. Goofy scratches his head. This is a super problem, he says. Did someone say super? asked Professor Von Drake. I have just the thingamajig you need. The professor has a new invention. I call it the Super Maker Machine, he says. It makes soup? asks Goofy. No, Goofy, laughs the professor. It will make real superheroes out of all of you. Super cheers, says Mickey. That's just what we need. Then step right in, says the professor. Now you all have super fantastic powers, the professor exclaims. But you'll have to work together to stop Power Pants Pete. Don't worry, says Super Mickey. The clubhouse heroes are on the job. One more thing, the professor adds. You'll only have your superpowers a little while. When your superpower bands turn red, your powers will be kaput. Then we'd better get going, says Minnie. Power Pants Pete is about to shrink Minnie's boutique. Oopsie Daisy has an idea. I'll use my mind powers to push the Zeppelin. Wonder Minnie has another idea. My super wonder bows will stop Pete. But nothing works. Your powers blocked each other, says Mickey. Suddenly Pete drops hundreds of rubber duckies. Mickey calls for some help. Oh, Super Tootles! Super Tootles has four Mega Mouse Catools, a giant blow dryer, a catcher's mitt, a big umbrella, and a mystery mouse catool. Let's try the umbrella, says Mickey. The big umbrella does the trick. The rubber duckies bounce right off. But Pete shrinks Minnie's boutique anyway and zooms off. Pete's next target is the Eiffel Tower. The heroes have to hurry. Their super power bands are turning red. Super Goof and Dynamo Donald get all twisted and hit the Zeppelin. Pete falls to the ground. You're through, Power Pants Pete, says Super Mickey. I'm sorry, says Pete, but the big boss made me do it. The Zeppelin lands and out comes the big boss, Mega Mort. It's shrinking time, he says. Mega Mort makes Pete tiny with his shrink ray. Oh, that tickled, says Pete. Mega Mort, says Minnie. You're just a mean old meanie villain. Mega Mort nods. I'm taking the clubhouse world for myself. He jumps in the Zeppelin and takes off again. We have to catch Megamort, says Mickey. Our powers are almost gone. Mickey and Super Power Pup zoom into the sky and grab hold of the Zeppelin. But Megamort traps them in a super strong bubble. 
We need a mouse katool, says Mickey. Oh, super toodles. Mickey chooses the giant blow dryer. It works. The blow dryer blows all the bubbles away. Bye bye bubbles, says Mickey. Back on the ground, Tiny Pete is rolling down a hill. The heroes try to catch him, but they trip over each other and fall into a heap. Tiny Pete is rolling away and our super power bands are all red, says Daisy. In a flash, the clubhouse heroes lose all their superpowers. Up in the Zeppelin, Megamart takes aim at the clubhouse. Mickey tries to stop him, but he loses his powers too. As Mickey falls toward the ground, Megamort zaps him and the clubhouse. Tiny Mickey tells Pluto to go find the clubhouse heroes. Megamort scoops up Mickey and the clubhouse and takes them up to the Zeppelin. Minnie and the rest of the heroes are trying to save Tiny Pete, but Pete hits a bump and is launched into the air. We have to catch him, shouts Minnie. Oh, super toodles. Minnie chooses the catcher's mitt. She runs to catch Pete, but he's too far away. Minnie tosses the mitt to Daisy, but she's not close enough either. Goofy grabs the mitt and makes the catch. We did it, says Minnie. We work together as a team. All at once, the gang is turned back into superheroes. When we work together, says Minnie, we're super duper. Minnie looks up. Uh-oh, Megamort has captured Mickey. We gotta save him, says Goofy. Oh, super toodles. The gang picks the mystery mouse katool. It's a super jet. Up and away, says Minnie. Let's save the day. The heroes plan to work together to rescue Mickey. Goofy and Donald sneak aboard the Zeppelin and find the shrunken clubhouse world. Then quickly gather up all of the globes. Megamort tries to stop them, but Tiny Mickey trips him just in time. The heroes bring the Zeppelin to a sudden stop. Goofy, Donald and Mickey tumble out and land right in the super jet. But the Zeppelin springs a leak and flies out of control. Megamort needs help, shouts Mickey. But he's a villain, says Goofy. He still needs saving, says Mickey. And that's what heroes do. Pluto helps Wonder Minnie tie up the Zeppelin with her super wonder bows. Then Donald and Goofy grab the ribbons and pull. Soon the rest of the gang joins them. Everyone works together to pull the Zeppelin to the ground. We did it, they shout. Megamort scrambles out of the flattened Zeppelin. After all I did, I can't believe you rescued me, he says. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Megamort, says Goofy. I'm really Mortimer Mouse, Megamort reveals. I'm your new neighbor. Well, you weren't acting very neighborly, Minnie points out. Mortimer agrees. He reverses the shrink way and returns Mickey and Pete to their normal sizes. Then Mortimer unshrinks the whole clubhouse world. I'm sorry, he says. I thought if I took what you had, I'd be happy. The clubhouse is all about having friends, says Mickey. That's just it, Mortimer admits. I don't have any friends. You do now, says Goofy. That's super, Mortimer says. It's more than super, says Mickey. It's super duper. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book that you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.